for why waiting um, first of all let me start by um saying that um waiting is a part of life yes yes waiting is a part of life you know um waiting is that time lag between a promise and the actualization of the promise between a vision and the fulfillment of that vision or the manifestation of that vision so for example if you tell a child i'm going to get a bicycle for you and then you know between that promise and when you hand over the bicycle to the child that's the waiting period so every person goes through waiting is a is a um it's a part of life <laughs> if you may permit me to, to say it that way it's part of life you are not alone you know because sometimes the deception of the devil is to make us feel that we are alone in our situation that we are alone in the in the thing that is happening to us um and the reason he does that is, is so that he can single you out and you know destroy you because once you believe that you are you know it, it, it is just peculiar to you you will be bound to make some mistakes because you would you know want to do anything and do anything to make sure that you are not in that situation because you believe that something's wrong with you there's something that is going amiss in your life and all of that so understand that you know it's a part of life so sometimes waiting is is in god's agenda right sometimes you know waiting is you know is a time to be prepared the topic while waiting suggests that there is something that happens in the waiting so the topic suggests that it's not just about waiting there is a posture to take while you wait there is something to do while you wait the way you wait determines the results you will get so the 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 result of your waiting is dependent on your attitude when you are waiting at least when it comes with um um um, um to god and how he deals with us so while you are waiting how do you wait that's the question that that should be in your heart how do i wait to make sure that my waiting is not in vain to make sure that at the end um to make sure that at the end of my waiting i will have the best of results according to god's plan some persons are in their waiting room and they are grumbling a lot of persons are in their waiting room and they are and they are bitter and they have so so much enshrined themselves in bitterness that the as they are coming out of that waiting room they are not coming out into god's result because they are their attitude have not bettered the result of god so that is the, the, the reason that you know you find somebody that after being in waiting for quite some time the person still misses god's agenda because there was an attitude why the person was waiting the person did not wait with the right attitude the first thing I'll be, I'll be talking about is don't lose hope. Now, one of the worst things that can happen to a person that is in waiting is to lose hope. Is to lose hope. Because your anticipation, your expectation, your hope is what keeps you open to receive. Of course, when it comes to God, your hope, your anticipation, your expectation is what keeps you open to receive what you are waiting for. Now, even the scripture talks about faith and says that faith is the substance of things hoped for. So there is an element of hope that you must have for your faith to make a substance out of <laughs> do you understand so a person who has lost hope while waiting has you know has lost grip of his his or her results so while you are waiting make sure that you don't lose hope now what i mean by this is that you know the way you you tell a, a small child i'm going to get you a bicycle when i'm coming back from work the, that small child that kid lives in anticipation any car that honks the child will run out and say ah is it my daddy that's coming back the, the child can afford to stay at the gate waiting for you that is hope that is expectation that is anticipation that person the the child is just hoping 
or living in hope in anticipation in expectation that what you have told him what you have promised him you are going to fulfill so it is the same thing that we are talking about with god you know having received the promise of god that it is not good that a man should be alone right you you live in that hope in that expectation you don't allow the devil to use the duration or um or of your waiting some persons have waited for quite a long time some persons you know have waited for, for quite a short time regardless of how long or how short you have waited you don't allow the devil to rob you of the hope that you have because it is with that hope that you are able to you know um open up yourself to receive the promise i hope you are, you are understanding so when we are talking about hope um um is 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 different from being desperate you know someone that is desperate is you know it's someone that <laughs> he has gone beyond hope he's not desperate you know he he or she he, he or she um everything about the person is just about um let me get this let me get this and it does not matter how it does not matter how he gets it the his only disposition is let me i must have this and so he does any and everything to make sure that he or she acquired that it is different from you know living in hope right because someone that is desperate can um um, um can give his or her body in a bid to get married the person that is desperate can you know make uh his his or her judgment is suspended so you the person may be seeing obvious 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 red signs saying no this is not the person and the person will still there him because the person is desperate so you are at the risk of mistake when you are desperate but when you are living in hope you can be in the place of rest and still live in hope do you understand so you can be in that place of rest but you are in your heart you know hope is tied to faith in your heart you still know that god is going to bring your man to you that god is going to bring your woman to you that is hope so there is a difference between hope and desperation so all through the scripture we see a lot of persons that waited you know that had their waiting and you know how they they they, they had that element of hope abraham for example the scripture says that he um he he hoped beyond hope so there was nothing to hope on but he yet hoped so there was nothing in the natural to put his hope on but he hoped on the promise of god he judged god faithful to keep his word and at the end isaac came forth when you look at the story of hannah for example as another instance you see that the woman had a lot of um and waiting time a lot of waiting time but the scripture says that when she went to pray and she finished speaking with eli the scripture said that her countenance was no more sad so it was at that moment that um hannah received samuel so my point with these two examples is for you to see that the 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 the, the, there is all because when hannah when the scripture said that her countenance was no, no no more sad she had moved she now was now hoping on god before she was bitter she was angry at her husband but now she had received a word from god and her hope was now there her countenance was no more sad so she was living in that hope and the scripture says that she brought forth samuel so one other reason that i'm i'm looking at these two two as examples is that the 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 child that they brought forth after their period of waiting was a a a they were children of prophecy prophet samuel isaac you see so so you you can begin to 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 trust god that at the end of your waiting period you are going to receive your man of promise you are going to receive your woman of promise and let nothing and no one talk you out of it so you live in that anticipation you live in that hope you live in that hope and for some of us this meeting will serve as your ally (laughs) you know hannah hannah 
<laughs> after her encounter with Eli, that was when her hope was revived. <laughs> and i can tell you that this meeting will serve as ally to some persons that your hope will be revived and in the in beyond your expectation god will visit you do you understand i see god going beyond the time that you may have allocated to yourself I see God going beyond even the time that you think is the is the is the normal time that should be possible for these things to happen. I see God going beyond and causing your man to come and causing your your wife to appear. In the name of Jesus, I proclaim over you as an ally. I declare in the name of Jesus that according to the timing of God, your wife appears. According to the to that which has been written of you in the volume of books, your husband comes forth in the name of Jesus. And according to that which is written, I see it's no longer long. This is for someone. It's no longer far. I hear the feet of those bearing good news. I hear the feet of him that bears good news. In the name of Jesus, I declare that your countenance is no more sad. Your hope is revived. And according to the time of God, you receive your man. You receive your wife. In the name of Jesus. Now... (laughs) Waiting times are usually not funny <laughs> because there um, there is usually a whole a whole lot of pressure. You know, for, for some persons the pressure is is enormous. For others, it's just not so much. But there is always that pressure. Um, count yourself blessed if those around you don't give you pressure, <laughs> right? So um, uh, the situations happening around you will give you pressure. The people around you will give you pressure. For example, you are just seeing wedding invites everywhere. You are seeing your friends are getting married. Both those that you are older than, far much older than um, those that uh, um, that you know you've grown up together with your best friend. You know the person is just getting married, and it's as though every person is getting married and you are not. That's pressure. You can get pressured. You know, when people begin to tell you, ah, when are we, when I give us Ivy now, they may say it jokingly. It may just be to, um, to just catch crews. <laughs> but those words form a pressure. They mount a pressure on you. And the second thing you should not do while waiting is to crack under that pressure. Um, because uh, <laughs> the pressure the pressure can make you to want to just dive into marriage with any person that comes your way so if if the pressure is too hard and you don't have the strength to bear it what will happen is that you will give in you will give in to the pressure you'll be like everybody's married so let me just get married and the next man that walks up to you and says i love you can you marry me say yes let's let's go on (laughs) <laughs> or the the next lady you see as as the guy now the less the next lady you see that you know you know is you know the, the person just passed one of your one of your requirements be like ah no this is the person at least she has one over ten and you know so let me just let me just um so so uh, uh, um you should avoid cracking under pressure do you understand because you the result of your waiting will be disastrous if you bow to pressure it will if you bow to pressure the result will most likely be disastrous because when you are under pressure you don't think right you don't judge right you don't see well do you understand so the 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 someone said that the worst time to marry is when you think you should get married <laughs> it's when you're under well, i think what, what he was trying to say is that you know when you're under that pressure that's the worst time to you know to um 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 what's it called now to choose 
so you must find a system to not be pressured by the things happening around you to not be pressured imagine if noah was pressured and he cracked under the pressure not if now pressure no one was pressured imagine if he cracked under the pressure you know, do, do you do you know have you ever thought about the what would be playing out when he was building the ark remember the ark was not built in one day that ark was built over some person said they took um between 55 to 75 years to build some others said that it took 40 days some said it took um you know diverse things but you know that we are not here to you know try to decipher how long it took but no matter the duration there was a duration there was a time between the promise of god that there will be rain and when the actual rain came so imagine that why noah built the, the ark people pressured him what are you doing why are you waiting for the rain can't you see that the sky is is, is clear there is no rain there's no sign of rain anywhere imagine i said oh that's true no rain so let me stop beating the ark the end would have been disastrous for him so had he cracked under that pressure he would have been destroyed and it's the same thing for you if you crack if if just because your friends are getting married and you jump in with any man you jump in with any 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 person without being sure that this is god's promise to you without being sure that this is god's will for you you are you are you are just positioning yourself for the fire so do not crack under the pressure i know the pressure will be high i know the pressure will be enormous but don't crack maintain your eyes your focus on god and on the promise you know what god has has promised you you know you know you know so just relax tell your soul relax when my time is come it will not be taken away from me you know that for every person we all have different um different um what's it called now tracks so every person is running his own race you understand so let that give you a, a a kind of rest so that you cease from the pressure and as much as if you can withdraw yourself from people that give you pressure because you don't know the the, the, the limit you can take that pressure and you will crack so if there are ways you can just um subtly avoid people or situations that put you under pressure do so don't pause your life um <laughs> so, okay let me not say that all right so the the point is to um is to stay on your assignment let your life not revolve around oh i'm waiting for my spouse and then you don't do anything so all you are doing is i'm waiting for my spouse there is no other meaning you have made your life to lose meaning because you are waiting for your spouse because some of us we think that um, marriage solves all our problems right (laughs) marriage does not solve all our problems so I, i don't think it does you know you know so you must find somebody that does not have a meaning in his life marriage will not give him a meaning do you understand so each person marriage is a coming together of two whole individuals marriage is not the coming together of half and half no it's hundred and hundred so you each the wife and the man you know must have their life whole as they come into that marriage so as a wife you are not waiting to get married to be fulfilled your fulfillment is not in i am married there is a reason that god created you there is a purpose that god made you preoccupy yourself and i don't mean preoccupy to the point that you know you are so (laughs) <laughs> you are so into it that you know your eyes are just blinded god is shouting stop 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 not stop god is shouting look at your man look at your man and you are so occupied that you don't see because adam was in the garden fulfilling his assignment but when god said to him um it is not good for you to be alone he understood and he received Eve. so i'm not saying get too 
too engrossed that you now say i don't need a man or or i can do life without a man and all of that no you are engrossed and, and you are engrossed and you are still in fellowship with the with the lord so that you can know when god is saying this one here is your man and you know it's time to get married but the point with this is that you should not just post your life do things keep keep your life in motion do you understand what has god created you to do he said before i formed you i knew you and i ordained you as so so and so so just put your name there god has ordained me for so so and so ask yourself what is that so so and so that god has ordained me for and start walking in line with that purpose for some of us it's in that our calling it's in that our assignment it's in that our service to the kingdom that we will find our adam that we will find our eve do you understand so the question to consider tonight is what am i doing currently is my life on hold because i'm not married is my life and and you need to study this critically if not you may miss it because of course you 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 likely have a job you likely be going to church but are you fulfilling your assignment or are you waiting for marriage to start that's the question you must consider that's the question you must consider so don't put your life on a hold carry on with your life be happy with you it is that happy you that will go into marriage and you know have a beautiful marriage because if you think that it is marriage that will make you happy you have missed it so like i said earlier marriage is is the is the coming together of two whole individuals so all of you the both of you must be happy in you in yourself so you must be satisfied with who you are the man must be satisfied with who he is and then you come together and you have a beautiful marriage